Hello, everybody. I'm reading this last part here of my of my the last part of my of, of the posts I made earlier today. I make these posts sometimes in rapid fire because I'm trying to I'm 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 interacting with people. Um, they're sharing pictures, many pictures sometimes in their Instagram stories. Uh, one, I, if, if I start telling one part of a story, I just know it leads to other parts of the story that need to be told. So I make rapid fire posts. Some I translate them in Norwegian and Danish sometimes, both. And and um, I think it's I think it's more meaningful to write them out and to speak them sometimes the, the important ones, and uh, and then to put them on YouTube and as well in a slideshow. You know, Instagram and Facebook kind of put a layer of ownership kind of over what it is we say. It's it's kind of more. It's not very personal sometimes. Um, it's hard for me to detect this. Other people kind of can tell. So uh, I wanted to read these out. So this is this is this is the post that I made where I'm talking about the hoist that I bought to 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 hoist up and to lower things inside of this to up and down the story the the different floors of my building because there's no other way to get things up to the second and third floor without using this hoist the things that are heavy and I and as, as I said in the post before this one. I, I was by myself. I didn't feel comfortable including people who I didn't know were, were friends with Jeanette at this point because I, I didn't need any obstacles and I wanted to do things on my own at that at this point until I felt more comfortable with um, who people were because I just know what it's like in a small community. And, and sometimes, you know, I, 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 I someone so someone who I respected told me that Jeanette's stepfather was a was a construction worker. So you know, it, construction companies can be really. Um, you know, um, competitive and, you know, it, it, it just, I didn't, I wanted to do it myself at that point. So I got a hoist to lower for the literature festival. I needed to clean the third, the second and third floor because it was such an old, um, building that hadn't been cleaned in 80 years. There was grime and dust in the floor and the cracks of the wood. So I needed to clean it really well. So I bought a really nice floor cleaner, um, commercial floor, floor cleaner. And I bought a, a hoist to lift it up to the second and third floor to clean the floors. So I'm, I'm going to post pictures and um, make a slideshow, with, with, including with the written Norwegian, along with my speaking the story, this part of the story. And I'm going to read it exactly, how, almost exactly how I wrote it on Instagram earlier today. So let me begin. Yeah, I was so keen to get my building thoroughly cleaned when the literature festival took place that I made a plan to have my brand new floor washer that weighed hundreds of kilos, hundreds of, hundreds of pounds, up and down the different floors of my build, building to wash the floor. I did not ask anyone to help me because I did not feel comfortable doing so because I did not know who Jeanette's friends were. Um, this became a sensitive topic for me. I, 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 I was keen. I was, I was aware of the sensitivity that could happen when different groups of people in a small community, you know, I'm, I'm all of a sudden becoming friends, possibly could start becoming friends with people um, who don't, under, don't, don't understand, don't believe, don't even know anything about my reasons for being there. Um, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't something that I was trying to hide. It was something that even if I did tell people that I met Jeanette and something's had, I would, it's too personal to get into, but people by nature get curious and, and try to try to figure out why I'm there and what my plans are. So, um, so it became a, so dealing with other people, um, that, who wanted to help me, it was, became a sensitive thing. Um, uh, because when I first bought, because when I first, and right off the bat, right when I first bought my building, someone came up to me and wanted to start helping. Um, and he was very nice and he, he wanted me to come out. And then he also said he wanted, he wanted me to come out and have drinks. And I just know how, how people, uh, how people are. And, um, and if I were to, and if I, if I had gone out and started having drinks, like I was saying before, um, people go out and have drinks and you become part of a group then some many times and then you know new people get to know you and you're, and you're out there socializing and drinking that you never normally would meet them in that situation and I don't know and, and you know and I didn't and I, I didn't need no I didn't need I didn't need more problems or obstacles to get in um, to work to have to work through by by including other people um that I who I didn't know um and I didn't know their relationship to Jeanette. 
um, you know, there, Jeanette could have some enemies. She could have some people she's not, she has this, this, this taste for, um, you know, and I, and I all of a sudden felt the sensitivity that it could happen if I'm trying, if I, be, you know, I didn't know, you know, I mean, anyone. So it was very, I had to be, I felt like I needed to be careful about doing, I went on, I was there to work on my building. I had a residency to work on. I wasn't there to go out and drink and hang out and get involved with groups of people and start making contacts like that. So, so, you know, I, I, so it was that first person that wanted me to come out and have drinks and he wanted to help me where I became concerned, aware that I wanted, I, I don't, I don't want to do this on my own. And, um, I, I didn't want to be rude about it, but, but, and you know, there's a lot of people that don't understand that, that hang out and like to enjoy themselves and, and look and are, you know, free, free birds and go out and have fun. And I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't do that. And, um, you know, and I have, an, and here's another example I can give you. Um, there was a time when I went to go talk to a company in, in Oda that sells, a, that sold, sold a product in their store that I, that I was interested in. And, you know, I sit down with the man, um, and not long after I started talking to him and, you know, he knew who I was because everyone knew who I was in Oda by the, by, you know, by later in the summer. And he, right, one of the first things he asked me was whether or not I wanted to sell my, my new truck. And he smiled and he kind of smiled like I was a gambler. And he said something about how I must like to, to take chances. Um, and this feeling left me in a position where I needed to isolate myself and do everything myself because I did, not, I did not want to put any more obstacles in this growing friendship that I was nurturing with Jeanette. So there was this, there was this idea that, you know, that, that I didn't, I still don't understand this notion that I was taking some kind of chance, like there was some risk occasionally, like in that case I just ex described, you know, I, I d really didn't understand what they were talking about because, you know, yeah, I mean, I didn't know for certain how Jeanette felt. Um, you know, <laughs> we, we, we couldn't communicate about things like that. The, the uncertainty of my residency and, and how the community were, was going to accept me was this barrier, was this we needed an answer from those things before I could ever discover anything else about Jeanette. You know, she was still communicating with me over social media and pictures and things and likes and stuff. So I knew there was an interest. So I wasn't going to be going out flirting with any other girls. And I was focused on her and, and I was devoted to her. And, and, and the reasons for buying the building with, was, was with her in mind. And to include other people and people talking about me taking chances. And I didn't know what that meant. And I had this residency that I'm working on that I don't know what it would mean if, they, if, if, I, if I was denied the residency. Because, you know, there was too many things that were un, uncertain, you know. How, the, how, the, how, you know. So for everyone else that was looking in on me, imagining me in my situation, maybe maybe making bets amongst themselves about what was going to happen. Who knows? Um happened to me making bets on me I don't know what but you know in my mind I was always going to hold on to the building even even if you know even if Jeanette decided she didn't want to be involved with me which she never you know I mean it was never like that during the whole summer that I was there um I I knew that I wanted to work on this building and, and I want that project regardless of of um what would happen with Jeanette, you know, you know, that mysterious question that, that no one can really answer. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hers to own. And, um, you know, I didn't want to include anyone else in my project because I, because I was sensitive to the fact that Jeanette, um, you know, I didn't know who her friends were and I didn't want to get in. I, I knew that's part of the emotional relationship I would have with her was who her friends are. And, um, so that's why I was doing everything myself in my building, hoisting things up, um, cleaning, uh, not, you know, not going out looking for people, hiring young people to help me. It was, it was, it was something that I wanted to do myself for emotional reasons, just because I know, uh, I, because of my sense the sense that I had of my situation and, um, you know, as for the, 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 the example of the man that, that wanted to buy my truck and wanted to talk about me being a gambler, I don't, you know, that's, that was one of those things that I still don't understand how I was gambling. 
Um, you know, when I'm not gambling on something, when people are telling me everything's going to work out and everything is going to be okay, um, you know, I'm not that, that that I'm not gambling if that's what I'm thinking. So that I was never in my, I mean, in my mind, I was never gambling. Um, of course, I was hoping that I would get a residency. Um, if, if if Jeanette left me and if I didn't get the residency. Well then, I'm going. Then, 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 then I'm coming back and forth and working on my building, and then some other girl, some at some point in my life would come along and show interest in Norwegian. That was those are those are the options. So, uh, I guess those are the that was the foundation of how I knew everything was going to be okay. It's not you know I, I had I had there there were the thing I wanted I wanted to just continue what I was doing. The inspiration I had with Jeanette was my main drive to do it all. But, you know, <laughs> I had to be the one to start it. So, um, you know, and then, and then, and then Jeanette has to, had to watch and see how it was all going to come, how it was going to come together for me before she could step in. And this, there was no need for us to talk about it. So she just watched and, um, you know, and, uh. I'm not someone that's, that stops doing something I start. I was all in from the beginning. I'm all in now. And um, that's just the way that I am. And that's the, that's the, that's the final story here.